It is. No, it's not even morning. It's afternoon because I went out last night, went to a club in London with my co-workers. It was really fun, but I woke up really rough today, like really rough. Um, but welcome to the vlog, guys. This is a prep for my Christmas New Year holiday. Um, going to Morocco. My brother went last year for Christmas and said he had a really good time. So I was like, why not? And also, if I go to Morocco, that means I've done four continents this year, which is unbelievable. I don't ever think I'll be able to do that again. Well, maybe, but like, that is crazy. Australia, North America, Europe, and then Morocco, Africa. <laughs> So yeah, I'm so excited. Uh, this is just gonna be a prep, getting ready. I leave Christmas Eve morning. I'm flying out of Gatwick, which I'm so excited. So I'm gonna go get my nails done. I'm actually gonna go get my hair done, um, treat myself, and just pick up a bit of few things from a few closed stores, cause it's Muslim country, so I need to be like covered up. Um, but yeah, sorry, this is a very rough intro, guys. There is not a lot up here today, um, but welcome to the vlog. I hope you guys enjoy and sit back, relax, and enjoy this vlog. Oh my god, Struggle Street, guys. my hair done and I absolutely love it. She did such a good job with the curls. It's looking healthy and fresh for my holiday. Um, and now I'm gonna go get my nails done. I don't really know what I'm gonna get. I feel like just getting French tip again, but then I wanna get something different. So, gonna get my nails done, feeling a bit better. Got a bit more clarity now. I'm gonna go get another coffee and that will just bring me back to life. I haven't even started packing yet, so I think I'm gonna go home tonight, make a nice chicken burger and do my packing. Um, but yeah, I'm just really vibing my hair. My skin looks good. Holiday prep is in full mode. Got an orange juice. And yes, my coffee. And then I'm gonna get my nails done. I just got home now I have my nails done I like split second they were like oh what color do you want and I was like on the phone to Melissa I was like Melissa what do I do I had French tip before but I just I feel like this really suits me French tip again I got my hair done which I'm so happy about the curls have kind of fallen out but she did such a good job and now I am gonna clean my room and start packing for Morocco so excited, gonna make myself a burger, put some music on, no one's home, they're all gone back to, all my flatmates have gone to their families for Christmas, so we're just gonna have like a music pumping, packing my bags kind of vibe, Friday night, so excited, so yeah. It's 8.30 and I'm gonna cook some dinner now. I actually had a really great time last night going out in London and I feel like I had a really good day today in London. I was just around shopping, got my nails done, got my hair done and I feel like I have so many ups and downs in London and I feel like today I was really like perky and I was like yay like I'm s like it's so sick I live in London I'm so proud of myself and everything it's just weird you go through so many like um ups and downs here and you're just like I hate this place and then you're like Oh my god, I'm so proud of myself. Oh my god, I love living in London and getting new experiences. But then you're like, oh my god, it's so hard, it's so expensive. But yeah, I'm gonna play some tunes, dance in my kitchen, and make some dinner. I'm so excited. <laughs> my favorite person's calling. <laughs> Melissa. Say hello to the vlog. So, hey! Uh, are you getting ready to go out? <laughs> Why? And I feel like I'm just on the fucking. Because of Christmas, it's because you're. And there's not fucking that bearable. Scott, do you feel like finding 
Rex is trying to talk. The boss is not so much. What's already happened? All my store. It wouldn't be my more food. Do you think you'd see anything that's so delicious? Turn to Melissa. <laughs> Say hi. I've been riding camels and stuff, but it's like. <laughs> Oh, so who's that one? fucking neck tattoo guy in I B for it? I have a video. Yeah, exactly. Like, would you go to Amsterdam? With I'm gonna say I want to go to London and COVID. Can't be like, oh, next year, next year. Six hundred. Like, as good as it is, I would just went with a guy. Since I was eleven, I can't even remember. <laughs> I know, I hear ya. <laughs> I'm getting so. Like upset around Christmas time now because I'm like everyone's gonna be with family and I'm just like good rock on my own. Yeah, it's like you want you're wishing that she would be there to support you more or try to make an effort or anything. Yeah. Just I just bare minimum. Just wish I was like I bought this skirt online, right? It was meant to go with this crop top, so cute. But Bershka, sometimes the sizings are so off, so usually I'm gonna. So guys, I've finished all my packing. It's midnight. That took me forever to pack. I was just like, not all here. And then I was speaking to Melissa like the whole evening, which was really nice because I was kind of scared here in the house because no one's here and it's like dark and I keep hearing noises. And then also I got quite emotional and upset because I was like, I'm spending Christmas literally on my own and like it's really hard like I really want to be with my family or I want to be with some friends and I'm literally like going on a solo trip to Africa like as amazing as that is so much of me just wants to be with like my friends and family on Christmas it's been a really hard year and I just want to be around people who know me and love me and support me unconditionally but it's so expensive to fly home at Christmas and I don't even have enough leave with work because it's like a 30 hour journey. It's like two days. So yeah, I've just been really emotional and this, this is like the part of living abroad that people don't tell you is like, you are gonna have to spend birthdays, Christmases on your own or without family and I've done it so many times but I think this year is the hardest is because I really don't have any friends in London and like when I lived in Canada on the ski resorts like I had friends to spend Christmas with so it was like having like an orphan Christmas and everyone was having one so you didn't feel so like left out but here I just feel like yeah I don't even have like a lot of friends at all so it's really tough and I'm just going to FaceTime a lot of people on Christmas and travel and explore. But yeah, it's the harsh reality of living abroad that really no one talks about. Like, it was looming for so long. I knew I was going to spend Christmas on my own and I just really didn't want to be sitting in London, in my flat. Everything's shut down because it's Christmas. Everything's closed and me just here with like no one with no one around me or anything and then like some people like invited me like some colleagues invited me to their family Christmas but I'm like I really think they're just doing that like they're say offering it but they don't really expect you to take up on you because like for me I'd be like like you live such a busy year and then you get like one point in the year which is Christmas time for most people to spend time like quality time with your friends and family and then you just have like the stranger over here because she has no family to go to or no home to go to I'd like they'd just be weird you know so yeah I just decided 
booked a trip to Morocco and I actually decided Morocco because I will be hitting four continents this year if, well when I go but yeah that's just the reality of living abroad and I don't think it's spoken about enough and it's not always flying to new places and being happy and jolly like there are really hard times and I would say I am extremely homesick this Christmas which came to a bit of surprise for me because most other Christmases I haven't and then I thought about it and I was like you know what most other Christmases I spent with friends and I had company and then this year I'm literally like me and my suitcase but yeah I'm gonna go to sleep now guys I'll see you guys in the morning bye Good morning guys, it's the next morning and I've just put a little tan on, I've put this dress on because I'm going to go out and get some of my piercings changed and one of my diamonds fell out last night so I had to put a different one in. So I'm going to go get those changed and I can't with these nails. Um, and then I'm just uploading another YouTube video and then I'm just going to kind of chill around home, clean the house. And then I am going to leave tonight, get the train and go to Gatwick Airport and get on my flight to Morocco. I'm so excited to like get in a bikini and feel some sun on my skin. It's going to be good. I can't wait. But let's start the day by getting a coffee. <laughs> just got home now and I got my earrings changed I got changed to this one and then this one and then this flower up top and then in my conch I went back with the gold because I feel like it sticks out more but I love my new stack oh my gosh and then I just went and picked up like another coffee, gonna make some lunch and do some editing and then get ready to get on my flight. Some lunch here, some chicken burgers, gonna eat that and watch some Love Island. A bit lonely, not gonna lie, it's a bit lonely, I'm just like in the house like, I'm really lonely! <laughs> Uh. Hey guys, it is 20 past 12 and I'm just on the train, I've got all my bags here and I'm heading to Gatwick now, I don't fly out till 6am but I don't want to pay like £100 for an Uber to the airport so I'm heading to the airport now, I'm just going to get a coffee and do some editing and then we are on to Morocco, I'm so excited but yeah, on the train, just chilling, just talking to Melissa and chilling. Good morning guys, it is Christmas Eve. I have a coffee and a little like smoothie bowl from Pret. We love Pret for that. Um, I had a little sleep for like an hour from two to three and then I went through security at like 3.30 and it was so quick and so easy and so breezy. And then yeah, I'm just gonna have my breakfast and my flight's at 6.20. I'm getting really excited now. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to a new country. I haven't really sorted anything for like buses or like researched anything. I think I'm just gonna land in the airport get a sim card for my phone and then just sort it from there get some money out and then you know just go with the flow that's the kind of holiday we're having um but yeah i'm so excited i hope i get a window seat so i can actually like film take off and maybe there'll be sunrise but yeah i'm gonna eat my breakfast have my coffee merry christmas eve everyone i'm in gatwick airport can't complain
vlog guys i will see you guys in my next vlog which will be marrakesh morocco so i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and i will see you in my next one bye Wanna be just like you